Today, we're trying to answer one burning question. What happened to this Great Lakes schooner, and why does it look like a bomb destroyed the stern? We're headed out onto Lake Huron with double action dive charters and anchor bay scuba to dive the wreck of the Colonel A.B. Williams. Located in the Sanilac Shores Underwater Preserve, the A.B. Williams is the preserve's oldest wreck. The 163 square mile preserve runs along the western shore of Lake Huron and has over 15 shipwrecks that are within the recreational dive limits of 130 feet or 40 meters. Descending down, the shadow of the wreck that lies in roughly 84 feet, or 26 meters of water, slowly comes into view. With her bowsprit in full view and the mast laying on the bottom, she looks like a ghost ship sailing on the sea floor. The A.B. Williams was a workhorse during its time constructed sometime before the American Civil War in 1861, the Williams was a cargo ship used to transport all kinds of goods, including coal. She sank in 1864 in a storm when Abraham Lincoln was still President of the United States. The wreck is almost completely intact, except for the stern section, which we're headed to explore and discover what could have happened. As we're headed aft, we can clearly see where one of the masts had been which presumably snapped off when she sank. From the looks of it, she most likely went down bow first. Although the Williams is mostly intact, her stern section, however, is another story. Approaching the stern, we take a moment to explore one of the cargo holds that would have been packed with coal during the time of her sinking. Coming up on the aft deck, it's clear something catastrophic happened here. There are pieces of decking scattered around, and a part of the stern section is completely missing. This is actually a common sight when it comes to Great Lakes shipwrecks of this time period. When the Williams sunk beneath the waves, the water pushed and compressed all the air into her stern. At some point while she was sinking, the pressure built to such an intensity that it completely blew out the entire stern. On the Great Lakes, the waves, particularly during a storm, are often close together with only a short period between them. It's hard to say for sure what happened all those years ago, but by the way she is sitting on the lake floor, it's possible that a large wave, or a series of waves, came over the bow, flooding the already laden cargo holds that were full of coal. This would have caused her to become unstable and potentially slip bow first beneath the waves, coming to rest where she lies today. <laughs> Discovered in 1957 by a group of divers, the Williams sat quiet and alone on the lake floor for almost a hundred years. She is a memorial site for the sailors that lost their lives here in 1864, 
but it's also a favorite wreck dive in the Port Sanilac Underwater Preserve. For more information on Great Lakes schooners, check out our video on the Wellsbert, another ship that has a tragic but interesting story. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you guys never miss a dive. But we will see you next time underwater.